gets a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chan! And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses, one draw, and two no contests. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, and with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Stay strong. Stay strong. Keep moving. Good punch, Lance. Continues to eat power shots here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, my goodness! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big punch lands over it. What a big time takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh! Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. Both guys landing with conviction now. And he connects with... Oh! He needs to start looking the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh! Huge right hand! Diving punch lands. Oh, 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 oh! He's got him hurt here. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh! Oh! Oh, big diving punch is good. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Watch over the top. Not there. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Michael Chow! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.